In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can debug the Flutter default application that we created in earlier lecture. So over here, a couple of points that we need to ensure is that the environment variables that we have over here, Android Home and Android SDK root, should be set up properly. You must have an emulator installed on your system to check it. Otherwise, you'll need a real device to connect and then the application will be launched on that device. So once you have taken care of that, you will be required to click on the debug menu option. Once you'll click on this, it will ask you to set up a launch file which will be shown inside VS Code launch.json. Here, I have provided the full path for the program which is inside the lib directory main.dot. So this is the file which we are mentioning over here in the launch.json file. Once you have this configuration enabled, you need to launch your emulator from the Android Studio or you can just go ahead and say AVD and this will bring up the AVD manager using which you can launch the emulator like I've done over here. There you go. So you can select one and you can click on start. Mine is already started. That's the reason why you see it disabled. So here, once the emulator is up and running and you have created your launch.json file as well, all you need to do is click on this play button or start debugging icon. Once you will do that, it will prompt you to select the emulator. You will be selecting that and once that's done, it will attach the app with that emulator and here you can see all the verbose mode messages are coming up. Once that's executed properly, you'll see the app running over here, as you can see in my case. So this is just a simple application which just count how many number of times you have clicked on the plus icon. So if I click on over here, you can see the counter is incremented to two, similarly three. And that's pretty much it that this app does. But the main point here is to see how we can configure the dot application, the flutter dot application and run it using an emulator, which we have covered in this lecture.